hello everyone welcome back to the another episode of thoughtful education an initiative the thoughts on education by collegeduniya.com thoughts on education initiative is to enrich the user experience at collegeduniya.com and try to bridge a long due gap between the vision of the management and the and the students today we have with us dr ajay o dahal principal at shrimati kanchan bai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college welcome to the interview sir thank you very much uh for giving this opportunity i am working as a principal at the kb abad homeopathic medical college i am happy to share that very recently ours is the first fourth institute all over india which has been accredited by nac with b grade uh this is in the maharashtra university of health sciences affiliated institute and this is the first college in the revised manual of nac that has been accredited in maharashtra uh i am very much uh, happy to see uh, especially with the intention to explore the homeopathy the college duniya has given this opportunity besides the college i am working as a national advisor at the indian institute of homeopathic physicians this is the oldest organization amongst the homeopathy and for the philanthropic purpose this ngo is working not only all over india but at international platform also thank you sir should we start with the interview yeah sure sure okay sir so uh, my first question is uh, being the principal of shrimati kanchan bai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you describe your leadership style actually i don't believe in the concept of leadership and etc somebody has to lead that's why we are taking the lead in it uh, i am believing in working together team participation and contribution at equality taking into confidence and proceeding together for the progress i am believing in working together and going ahead with this i am working okay sir so uh, my next question is uh, the education systems in india and other foreign countries are structured very differently in your experience yeah. what can an inbound student gain uh, from studying here in your college actually as far as concern about the education system very recently since uh, couple of months we are finding in india also there is a national education policy has been revived and uh, with the best of my knowledge from 2021 that to the force uh some people inadvertently they are calling it is a new education policy but it is not like that of so at a global level when we need to work the government of india also has revived that policy and uh, accordingly we are going at particularly about the homeopathy if you are talking homeopathy has been discovered by a german physician i belongs to the homeopathic education and that's why i can say my opinion especially about the homeopathy homeopathy rather it is a rudimentary phase all over the globe but whatever the advancement today we are finding that is in india though it is discovered by german physician accordingly we are going ahead yes sir that's great sir so sir my uh, next question is uh, how does the curriculum of uh, shrimati kanchan bai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college ensures the best practice of industry actually the best practice is uh, we are trying to provide everything that is as a best practice but amongst that the stakeholder should identify ki what will be the best practice we follow the syllabus and curriculum of the national commission for homeopathy as well as framed by the maharashtra university of health sciences nasik however amongst that amongst the best practices the corporate social responsibility as well as in research and innovation and development we need to work about it yes sir so uh, my next question is uh, how your college could be more welcoming to the uh, students of different races and economic backgrounds actually from the different socio economic status students they are coming rather i will say ki our institute is uh, situated in rural and tribal area of uh, maharashtra and most of the students they are coming from the poor socio economic status and very low meritorious student background 
but in spite of that with our efforts all the faculty members institute and management they are working and we are trying to be the one of the top institute and i am happy to share that kb abad is known not only in maharashtra but at national level also in mhs in the top 3 institute it has been ranked as i already shared that very recently we have accredited by nac and at mhs affiliated homeopathy colleges the kb abad is the first college in the revised manual that's yes, really great sir so sir my uh, next question is uh, what do you think your roles and responsibilities to the college and the students are as far as it concerned regarding the roles and responsibility taking care of the health of society especially with the help of homeopathy because everybody is very well aware about the homeopathy it doesn't have any side effect or bad effects now if you are talking about our institute vision i can say that to promote homeopathy a holistic medical science and beget the healthy society the mission of our institute is to nurture the young aspirants into cultured ethical ideal homeopathic physicians by imparting quality, quality medical education serving the society nation and humanity where with the help of homeopathy we are treating and giving the healing touch to the people especially the sick humanity and we are trying with our level best yes sir yes sir so you already given me the answer of uh, like college top priority of over the next 10 years so sir moving to the next question uh, when you first come uh, to the shrimati kanchan mai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college uh, what was your vision for the college and has it evolved over time and how far along in implementing that vision are you Uh, as you ask about it the top priority i want to add something in it my top priority is to develop the certain specialty opds because actually the concept of specialty is still in rudimentary phase in homeopathy people are also unaware but very recently in the last week only we have inaugurated the endocrine specialty homeopathy management with the homeopathic medicine in our institute that is technically collaborated with central council for research in homeopathy a government of india undertaking uh, second thing in research and innovation we are planning as you told about when i joined this particular college the my vision was the best homeopathic education and health provider amongst the all over india the kb abad should be at the top level amongst the nation and the students also our alumni should be in that way to providing their uh, services in the homeopathic uh, health services and sir uh, what would you like people to know about your college that they may not know yeah there are several things uh, as a one important thing is Uh, the college though it is situated in rural area but in a very different situation how we are providing and trying to be the best in our institute see we are having two mobile vans two mobile vans we are going at the doorstep this is one important thing second thing in pandemic of covid 19 more than 1 lakh people we have dispensed the homeopathic medicine as a immune booster at their doorstep people they have not approached to us but with the two mobile vans we have reached to the doorstep of the people besides not only in the covid 19 this is our routine practice regular service with the through mobile dispensaries we are going to the homes of the people well finding identifying their health problems and treating and giving the homeopathic medicine to them third important thing we are providing the diagnostics services at a very nominal charges free food to the our patients those who are admitted in our hospital third thing certain scholarships also especially from the poor socio economic students we are giving the scholarship certain special concessions in the tuition fees also and accordingly we are trying to bring that particular students mainstream in order not to hamper their academic career yes sir that's great sir so uh, according to you what is the uh, greatest strength of uh, your institute 
our greatest strength of our institute is actually gurukul sanskar with advanced education we are still believing certain things whatever the tradition we are following we are giving importance to the culture and tradition but we are not blindly following that things we are do, we don't have a blind faith in it so along with gurukul sanskar we are giving adhunik shiksha to the people we are nurturing to the students we are creating the human being besides the training of homeopathic education so trained physician with humanity we are inculcating in their mind and this is our best strength uh, strength you can say and so many services what as a responsibility of corporate social responsibility we are providing that our management is also looking towards that things our management is so dedicated not a single person is a politician and they are not interested to yes sir yes sir uh, moving to the uh, next question uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you see both for higher education in general and for uh, shrimati kanchan bai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college specifically yeah uh, challenges are people uh, especially the students those who are uh, taking admission to our institute they are from vernacular language uh unfortunately apathy towards the homeopathy that's why low meritorious students they are coming and this is not uh, only because of institutes its location and etc if you are finding at national level also somewhere we are finding apathy of the government also sorry to say in maharashtra not a single government homeopathic institute and hospital is, is there run by the government of maharashtra but one more good thing i want to share that the government of india since the establishment of ministry of ayush from uh, with the best of my knowledge 2015 the ministry of ayush that has been established now they are uh, giving a much opportunity to the ayush system along with the homeopathy so these are the certain challenges apathy vernacular language low socio economic status lacking in the fundings recognition also at a national and international level these are the certain challenges but however we are coming out of these challenges and we became one of the top 3 institute in the maharashtra yes sir that's really good sir so uh, sir moving to the next question uh, what are some plans that you are currently or will be designing for the institute international affairs and for the students actually our uh, quality education automatically attracts all the alumni engagements we are trying the international forum to avail the homeopathic education through our alumni because our many alumni they are working in the health services uh, all over the globe uh, especially in uae uk and uh, canada three countries i can say probably because that alumni they are continuously in touch with us so international forum of alumni to avail the homeopathic education second thing besides this our staff and students that are brand ambassadors of the institute so we are Uh, empowering our staff as well as the students so that automatically the institute as well as homeopathy will come up and indirectly or directly society will be benefited because of that services sir uh, yes sir my next question is uh, how do you uh, stabilize a healthy relation and environment in uh, the institute <laughs> this is a very good question to keep everything see this is the basic rule of administration that i know i cannot keep and make everybody happy at all time but in spite of that at that moment i should work as a team leader and afterwards when out of the office works we should like cordially and accordingly we can encourage and uh, push them 
and that's why so far i have not faced any unpleasant thing because of these in my administration or in my uh, tenure and that's why you can find out in spite of different or opponent situation our college is one of the top college in the maharashtra so this is all credit goes to the entire team obviously we are maintaining the healthy relationship and cordial relationship amongst the working environment so yes. sir uh, my next next and uh, last question is uh, any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students actually students when they are going ahead they should not forget the past in what situation they have completed their education they should never forget the past because history gives clues for the present as well as future that's why we need to the study the history many of the times what happens when students they are going ahead they are finding ki i have struggled that's why this student also should be struggle no not at all rather they should take the care ki in what a situation i face the difficulties my next generation should not face the difficulty and should not face that type of the situation and that's why they should work as a boosting or encouraging to their disciples and that only that's why i told you we are creating a, a mature human being in the society along with the education so we are nurturing and giving a culture to the students that's why our motto is gurukul sanskar with adhunik shiksha and accordingly till now i am finding ki up to certain extent we have achieved a lot of things in it yes sir yes sir it is uh, really helpful for the students sir so sir thank you so much uh, this was an insightful session so everyone this was uh, dr ajay o dahar principal at shrimati kanchan wai babulal ji abad homeopathic medical college for the episode of thoughtful leaders thank you so much sir for your uh, giving us your time thank you very much to college dunia also thank you and wishing all the best to the aspiring people and society also thank you thank you so much sir